Hey guys, thought y'all probably want to see what my my light bill is looking like with my solar. Thought I'd give y'all a little view of what it is. You can see right here, this is in July into August. And uh, this is from July 12th, from the beginning of the cycle. And this is when we was running uh, off grid. I mean, not off grid, on grid. And I wanted to do a test and see um, if that meter was reading accurate my light meter so I ran for the first about two weeks I ran on the grid and that's from here well you can see this first day here I was um, running off grid and then I turned it on and this was the this I mean I turned it turned the grid yeah I turned the grid on and then this was the um, the first day I turned the grid on and I used 7 kilowatts I used 9 kilowatts that day I used 24 kilowatts 12 kilowatts 10 kilowatts 19 kilowatts on that day 24 25 9 15 three this right here is when I went back off the grid and I was running with the grid still on but I turned the breakers off that was feeding the different loads that was on my main box I turned that off but I left the grid hooked up to the inverter so if the battery went down too far it would switch over to the grid and take power from the grid. Now I couldn't figure out right in here why this was saying three, this one was saying three, and then this one here says point one zero of a kilowatt. Then here it was saying point zero eight of a kilowatt. Then it here it says zero kilowatts. And I was like, but why does it keep doing that even though I, I know I'm not using no power out of the grid so when I came over here I completely shut the main breaker off to where only the inverter was running the main breaker wasn't, wasn't running and I noticed that um, after that I still was getting the same like here it was .99 here it was point two. Here it was point eight. Here it was uh, point zero zero. Here is point zero zero. Here is point zero zero. Point zero zero. Point zero zero. Right here is three point six three. Right here is ten. And I, I couldn't figure that out. I'm like, I I would go outside. And I would look at my meter out there. And it wouldn't have moved at all. What exactly what I wrote down when I shut the main breaker off is is exactly what it was reading. But for some reason, this smart meter was still sending power, like I was taking power from the grid. Like here is eighteen right here. This one here is four. But let's move on to the next month I'm gonna put you on pause for a second because this take quite a while to load up okay I'm back now right here um, I'm not sure how this was was calculating all of this usage I was doing but let's let's just skip on through here let's go to this to 
this past the billing cycle we are in right now. This is the billing cycle we was in right now. This right here is the day that the batteries uh, ran down and I started taking power out of the grid. It was this day here. Now the seven days that I was off grid when we didn't take, that was in last month's billing cycle. This is this month's billing cycle from the 12th to the 15th of October. So right now we took uh, 2.04 on that day. We took 0 0.07 on that day. We took 0 0.34 of uh, 3.06, 8.73, 7.55, 4.94 5.13 but keep in mind I shouldn't have any usage because we have been only running off of solar power so I don't know how they coming up with this but as you get over here it starts falling I think some kind of way they have, because I see it on here where it said projected use and actual use. Maybe this is projected use, what they projecting I should be using, but I'm not. Because if you look right here, it says usage is down 50% from last month. So I'm using 50% less power than I did last month. And... Um, this is another thing I noticed, like, um, let's click on this one, this one right here. I'm going to put you on pause till it load up. Oh, I loaded up pretty quick. Didn't have to go on pause. Okay, now look at this right here. It says that I was using power from 12 o'clock all the way to 6 o'clock a.m. and then notice after 6 o'clock a.m. when the sun comes up you see no usage no usage no usage no usage and then all the way at 8 o'clock now it's showing usage when it shouldn't be showing no usage when I used to um, have my old inverters I had them set to where once the solar, which was about 8.30, once 8.30 come and it was no more sun outside and the solar panels wasn't collecting any energy, it would switch over the grid power to the next morning. Well, it still is running that same um, pattern like I'm, I'm doing that on this inverter, but I'm not. I'm never going back on the grid unless my batteries get down too low. Which since it's going into fall um, and we're not using the air condition like we was in July and August, I have not been going back on the grid. So they they are still billing me the same way as they was. But I notice when I get my bill, it, it doesn't show this, but it only shows it on here. Like I'm going to go to the next day. Let me pause you. Okay, we got the 20th up. See, here's 6 o'clock a.m. Then notice after 8 o'clock, no usage. And then all the way to 8 o'clock that evening, now they charging me. Well, at least they showing that I'm using power, but I'm not. Let's, let's go to another day. I'm going to put you on pause. Hold on. Now this is the 21st. Now on the 21st, the same thing, about 6, 7 o'clock, that's about 7 o'clock in the morning. This is 8. Shows no usage. None. All the way across. 6 o'clock, it starts back up again like I'm using power. And then you come over here and you put it on there. 
it says I only use like 0 0.03 kilowatts. Uh, 0 0.10 kilowatts. 0 0.11 kilowatts. 0 0.11 kilowatts. It, that's all it says all night, all the way up to the next day. Then when it's come, when the sun comes out, well, well, let me show you. Let me go to another one. Hold on a second. Well, guys, for some reason, don't want to load up. So let's do this. Let's go back to usage. Let's go back to cost. Hit cost. I'm a okay. I'm going to pause it as soon as it load up so we ain't wasting time. Hold on. Okay, guys. Now, this is my electric bill. Um, this is from the September 12th to September 26th. The billing cycle starts over on October 15th, so we still got a couple of more weeks to go. Maybe a week and a half to go before... We are maybe two weeks before we be in October. And um, this is what my bill is so far. I only use, I don't think I use that much because I haven't been using out of the grid. But this is what they say I have used. $6.06 worth of electricity. And after they add all the taxes and all the other crap that they add into that. My light bill is $32.22. And let's see what they say the usage is. Hold on just a second. Okay, guys. It said so far I didn't use 57 kilowatts this month, which equals up to $6.06. Which after all the taxes, oh yeah, and that thirty-two dollars also includes a fifteen-dollar garbage waste removal. So they they pick up your trash, um, and that's fifteen dollars a month that's adding in onto your light bill. So that thirty-two dollars on the previous page that included the fifteen-dollar trash removal fee. So. That's all I wanted to wanted to show you. Let you see what um what my bill was. Let's go back and see what last month bill was. Hold on just a second. Okay guys, here we go. Now this was last month's bill. Right here. That's what the bill was. Uh 